On today's China Uncensored, the true heroes of Hong Kong's umbrella movement. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. One of the criticisms I often get from the thoughtful and polite commentariat of this show is, why don't I see things from the perspective of the authorities? Well, here's a special correspondent, me, with more. Courageous, resolute, diligent. These are the words used to describe the people at the front lines of the Hong Kong protests. Wait, not these people. These people. I wanted to make a video showing the tireless efforts of the Hong Kong police, but then I found that one YouTube channel already has that covered. Videos enthusiastically supporting the Hong Kong police made by the Hong Kong police. Videos filled with inspiring music and touching messages from ordinary citizens who support the Hong Kong police. A video on the use of tear smoke that shows police officers manfully enduring tear gas during training exercises, while an expert talks about how safe tear gas is. A video on the dangerous scuffles that broke out in the illegal Mong Kok protests. Defenseless police being pushed back by protesters. Radical protesters and troublemakers causing chaos. And triad police arriving heroically at the scene. After watching these videos, I realized that Hong Kong police are a professional and responsible law enforcement agency that remains committed to discharging their duties impartially and professional. Hold on. How did that video get in there? There must be some misunderstanding. This video seems to be showing police carrying a protester to a dark corner and kicking him while he's down. But I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for this. So we asked this guy, Ken Song, member of the pro-democracy Civic Party, member of the election committee that chooses Hong Kong's chief executive, protester who was caught on camera being beaten and kicked by police after allegedly throwing water. But who is he really? And why is he protesting here? I'm here because I'm a Hong Kong citizen. I think like all the Hong Kong citizens who care about our future, who care about democracy in Hong Kong should be here to stand for As Ken kept talking about Kong. justice and fair elections or something, I noticed something odd about his appearance. Um, like what was on his face? If there's one thing I've learned, it's never trust a man with a beard. My suspicions grew as I learned what he had done before the protests. Um, actually I'm traveling in South America. What kind of person travels to South America? I, I'm, I'm used to be a social worker, I'm used to be a, a reaching social worker, but I worked for that uh, position for 10 years. Ah, a social worker who helps street kids. But wait, there's more. I start to like do demonstration and protests and voice out since 1995. So I, I demonstrate for like more than 10 years, like 15 years. A serial demonstrator. That probably makes him one of those radical protesters the Hong Kong police warned us about. We are not like really fight back, start a revolution things. We just asked what the, the Beijing government promised us before, that the universal suffrage. And that's, we, we asked in a really humble way that we should have it now in 2017. That's it. Well, that seemed reasonable. I was starting to suspect that Ken wasn't a dangerous radical after all. As for the courageous Hong Kong police force, they suspended the officers who beat him up and after a six-week impartial internal investigation, they finally arrested the seven officers and immediately released them on bail. Ken is trying to pursue private prosecution through the court system, but he needs the names of the officers to do so, which the police have so far refused to release. But there may be hope that former social worker Ken Sung and the Hong Kong police can resolve their differences. After all, they're both trying to keep the youth of Hong Kong off the streets. Thanks for that report, me. What do you think of Ken Song's case and the Hong Kong police? Leave your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more China Uncensored.